Begin of Shabbos, Shabbos Kodesh, Shabbos Cholamoy Tzukas. And today is the Vilna Gohan's Yerotzeit. And yesterday was Rav Nachman Mibesel's Yerotzeit. Baruch Hashem, the Chabon Hashem gave me the schus that I uh, have worn many yarmulkes. Mizrochi, Moderne, Litvische, Chassidische, Breslave, Chassidische Breslave, of course. So, what's beautiful is that after all the yarmulkes, I think especially today, it's a mistama, a mitzvah, to be able to be what's called today a nasher, and try to, of course, a person has his mesera, to stick to his mesera, but at the same time to be able to learn from every chassidus. And it's not by coincidence that we have of Nachman's Yeretzeit before the Vilna Gohan's Yeretzeit. I think there's a big confusion also. Many times there are chassidim who sometimes eat up the Litvish, Litvish, a Litvish. Why? Because um, in the name of Hasidus, I had such a mice recently, I don't want to be specific, specific details, but the instead of a Hasid being Lifni Mishu Asadin, which is a definition of a Hasid, they went Bimida Sadin, and the Litvish was trying to go Lifni Mishu Asadin to be a Hasid. <laughs> so it's not about the Lavush, it's about the Pnimius. That's, in fact, if you look in the Sfarim from the Baal Shem Tov, what's a chassid? A chassid is, there's two main definitions of a chassid. He's mischassidim koinai. He goes, he goes, the fnimu shrasidim with rubay nishalaylam. And the Gemara Masechus Baba Kama, haman de bailim hovi chassid. You want to be a chassid? The kaim milad in can be very careful bin adam If that, if a person's looking to be a chassid, those are the definitions. A perfect example of how these terms, terminologies, have been confused. The Vilna Gaon was called Rabbi Elabiliyawa Chassid. When someone today mentions the Gro, a Gronik, automatically it sounds like constricted. The Vilna Gaon's Koyach and Avoida especially was the Mitzvah of Simcha. In fact, he said yes. He said the most difficult Mitzvah is Simcha, and that's not just him, that's the Rambam. The Rambam says that the entire year there's a Mitzvah Betzim to be Besimcha and Avoida Hashem. And Sukkot, is the greatest obligation to be with Simcha. It's Miss Simcha Yaseira. And, and it requires a lot of work. It's a tremendous avoida. It's avoida gedayli me'oid. So, Rav Nachman from Bresov gave us so much. But he gave us one Torah that I think even if you're not a Bresov, it's kedai to read and chaz over a million times. It's in Reish, Pei Beis. It's the last Torah. It's called Azama Lelokai Boidi, which basically focuses on the idea that when you look at every human being, specifically when you're looking even at yourself, you have to always look for the kudas toivus. And the chiddush that he writes based on a pasuk in, in Tehillim, oid me'at rasha vizbananta mimkoyma ve'enenu, he says that when you look at a person and you're focusing on positive nekudas, positive attributes, he says the greatest rasha, he had to have done something good. And when you look at that, and you look for that nekuda, it changes him. Ve'einenu. He's not in the same place anymore. The Vilna Gaon. So much. It's interesting. He was actually, he created the movement in 1840. He was convinced that Mashiach was going to come 1840, which is Shnas Hei Tafresh. He held himself as a Nitzvah of Mashiach Ben Yosef. He tried to usher in as much as he can. And, and to him, any Kitruk about another Jew was something so detrimental. So much obviously so he had. In fact, also, the, the Vilna Gaon wanted, he wrote, I mean, it's his Talmud, he wrote that the greatest thing that a person can do in this world is do a chesed to another yid. You know, they say it's from Shlom HaKarbach. The Gaz to Zach and the Velt is to, is to do a, a, a toiva for a yid. And the greatest toiva is what Rav Nachman, what we just said from Rav Nachman, is that when a person is done someone else, the chafzchus, why? Because then he raises him. You could do the greatest chesed by simply looking and focusing on someone's positive attributes, one the kuda, find something good about this person, and you did the greatest chesed possible. You did the greatest thing, both the going to the Vilna Gaon and the end of Nachman from Breslev, because you just did something for Yid, and you did the greatest greatest thing you could do for Yid, which is to be malim, bring him higher. So we're going into Shabbos, Cholomoy Tzukas. It's a time where we read, of course, Kohelis, and Kohelis speaks about Everything under the sun is nothing, but that's if it's under the sun. As Rashi says, if it's lemala, which means if it's connected to spirituality and Torah, 
then it's Kodesh Kodoshim. And that's what every Yid is, good Shabbos, and a good Moed, and a good Chodesh, and a good, a good Sukkot, and a Simcha, tremendous Simcha Sachag.